Time for an unpleasant blind guy, conservative bite. There comes a time in the life of a person, an organization, or a nation when deeply held principles must not only be stated, but must be declared not just as words, but as actions. As we stand in the first month of 2017, at the end of one presidential administration and the beginning of another, we have to recognize that our work is not done. Even now, progressives on both the left and the right and their Islamic allies are working to bring down civilization. Horrific crimes against the disabled are not being reported in our media. Children are being brainwashed through the agency of anti-extremism laws. And free speech is under attack throughout the civilized world, while those who would plunge that world back 1,500 years into the Dark Ages are promoted and protected. The elites have behind them money, influence, and legions of well-meaning people who link their personal nobility to forwarding the Islamo-progressive agenda. Those of us who would oppose them know our work has only begun. So as we prepare to tell the world the truth, we rededicate ourselves to this task. I originally made the following as a dedication to the English Defense League on the part of their American friends, but it applies to all of us who would use nonviolent means to promote Judeo-Christian ideals and the time-proven liberties and freedoms that come with self-rule. Adapted from President Abraham Lincoln's message to Congress, concluding remarks, Washington, D.C., December the 1st, 1862. Fellow citizens, we cannot escape history. We will be remembered in spite of ourselves. No personal significance or insignificance can spare one or another of us. The fiery trial through which we pass will light us down in honor or dishonor to the latest generation. We say we are for life. The world will not forget that we say this. We know how to save life. The world knows we do know how to save it. We, even we here, hold the power and bear the responsibility. In giving freedom to the slave, we assure freedom to the free. Honorable alike in what we give and what we preserve, we shall nobly save or meanly lose the last best hope for earth. The way is plain, peaceful, generous, just. A way which, if followed, the world will forever applaud and God must forever bless.